Hey guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me on another one of my weekly deals, Wonder Projects. Today I am going to be showing you how I made this really um, nice card. I have some tone on tone stamping and um, just some really fun butterfly elements. But what I wanted to show you is I'm featuring our Pretty Petals Designer Series Paper Stack. Uh, this is one of our weekly deals this week. And so you've seen me use this before, but it comes in this really handy six by six um, paper pack. And you um, get just wonderful designs uh, throughout the whole um, pad. And I've used mine quite a bit, so some of the uh, designs um, are have been used up. So um, that just show, tells you how how wonderful I've, I have found this product. But just to let you know, the colors that do come in this paper stack, um, it's basic black, calypso coral, mint macaron, old olive, pacific point, and very vanilla. So just a really nice um, neutral uh, palette that um, you can do uh, just a lot of, of different things with it. So I'm going to be making this card. I'm using a couple of stamp sets. I'm using Serene Silhouettes and then also I'm using some of the sentiments from Wild About Flowers. So let's get started and I'll show you how uh, easy this card is to make. What you're going to do is start off with a piece of crumb cake cardstock. I've cut this in half, so this measures eight and a half by five and a half, and then I've scored it at four and a quarter, which gives us that A2 size. So you'll just fold it like that. We're going to start off doing our um, stamping with serene silhouettes. So this is what it looks like. You can find this in our annual catalog. I'm going to take this image and I am going to be inking that up in crumb cake. When you use the same color ink as the cardstock, it gives it a really nice tone on tone effect. And uh, what I did is I just kind of stamped it here in the middle of the card. Okay. And then the next thing you're going to do is just get a scratch piece of Whisper White. I'm going to use uh, Calypso Coral. And then I'm going to take this circle image and I'm going to stamp that and then punch that out using our one and three quarter inch circle punch. And if you don't get a great of an image like I did, just try again. And if you run out of paper, turn it over. Our cardstock is really nice where you it's thick enough that you can just turn it over and re-stamp. Okay, and I might get my punch and I'm just gonna punch that out. Just making sure that there's an even border all the way around the circle. And next we are going to, um, again, just get a scrap piece of pool party. And I'm using our Bitty Butterfly Punch. I'm just gonna punch out one butterfly. And then what I've, I've already done this off camera, but I have used our cardstock vellum and I've used uh, this butterfly from Bold Butterflies and I ran this through the Big Shot. And so uh, that gives us the cutout right there and our cardstock vellum is a really nice weight. It's um, It won't rip uh, for the most part unless you rough are rough with it, but I really like that vellum. Some vellums are more delicate and this one's a nice weight. And then what you're going to do is just take a little bit of your linen thread and you're just going to tie a bow. And you're gonna kinda wanna make this a little small because this is gonna go in the center of that vellum card, uh, vellum butterfly. So that size looks about good. And then you're gonna just staple that there in the center. And I'm using our handheld stapler to do that. And then from here, I can cut off the tail on this left side. 
we go. So we're going to use that a little bit later. And we're going to use the butterfly just a little bit later. Um, the next thing we're going to do is I have cut a variety of strips of paper from the paper pack. Um, here in my example, you can see that I'm using some uh, this paper is a little bit different than these. But what I've done is I have just cut the strips down. Um, the paper pack is six by six, so I've just left the, the six inches. This measures uh, three quarter inches wide. This is a half inch wide, and then this is a quarter inch wide. And I'm gonna use our banner punch to notch the ends. This is a fun little tip. So this is the image that you would get if you used it um, the original way. But I'm going to come in and just slide it in through the top because I just want to get that notch. And so then you will just uh, center that and then you can just cut it and that gives you that banner edge. So same thing, just slide it in and just center that and just punch. And this last strip, I'm just going to leave it straight. So what I'm going to do first is go ahead and adhere this down. I'm just going to go ahead and use my Fast Fuse. And I'm going to leave all the ends uncut until I'm done at the very end. Okay, and go ahead and adhere this. And I'm just going to kind of offset it and have it not be as long as the first piece. Then I'm going to come in with this one. And I'm actually going to use glue dots for this because this is kind of thin. And then just do the same thing where I'm going to Have it be about right there. Okay, and then now I can come back and just cut off all those pieces. Then what I'm going to do with this circle is I'm just going to kind of tuck that under this paper, just like so. And then what I did with the butterfly is um, I kind of fluffed up the wings. And again, I'm just going to use a glue dot for that. And then what I did here is I wanted to kind of hide this butterfly. So I'm just kind of covering it up as best as I can. And then I am using our pearls and I'm taking the smallest pearl Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to attach this butterfly just kind of up above the stamped image. And again, I'm going to use glue dots. And because you've got the staple and the linen thread, that's going to hide the glue dot. And I'm going to use two just to make sure that it's adhered well to the card. So just kind of like that. And then what I've done is I have taken some of our burlap ribbon and uh, this is, I think it's one and a quarter inch thick. So what I've done is I've just cut off a little strip and there's um, two surged edges on either side. I've just cut those off and then what I did is from there, so once you cut off the edges, um, then I just cut it in half or as best as I could. And I'm going to kind of rough it up, give it a little kind of and some of the fibers may come out just to give it a more um, rough look. It's not really the word I'm looking for. Grunged. Okay. And then from there, I'm just going to fold it in half and then staple it. And this just, there's really no rhyme or reason to this. It just kind of gives the card a little bit of texture. And just staple that. 
And then the very last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and stamp my sentiment. And I'm going to be using um, Congratulations on Your New Adventure. I'm using that from Wild About Flowers. This is a new stamp set from our um, main catalog. And I am stamping that using our archival basic black ink. So what I like to do with um, sentiments like this, just to ensure that they're straight, I like to use the lines on my grid mat. And then from there, you can pick it up on your block. And then let's just ink that up. And then let's just do the same thing with New Adventure. So again, just use those lines on your grid mat pick it up on your block and then come in here and just finish out the stamping and there you have it just a fun card using some really cute and nice papers from our pretty petals designer series paper stack and like I said that is a weekly deals this week so be sure to head on over to my blog, which is istampin.com, and you can see the other items that are on sale this week. Uh, one other thing that I just want to let y'all know is I am still looking for um, two more club members to finish out um, my group that's going to start in January uh, for the I Stampin' Club, and you can find out all the information. But I wanted to show you one of the things that I'm gonna be including in the grab bag. So if you aren't familiar with this, for everyone who signs up to be in my I Stampin' Club, I give you a grab bag worth $25. So let me grab the item and I'll show you real quick. So one of the surprises that's gonna be in the grab bag is our iced rhinestone embellishments. I don't know if you saw these in our holiday catalog um, that's current, but um, this is gonna be one of the little goodies that goes in there. So like I said, it's uh, the grab bag is worth $25. So if you would love to get these, then please go on over to my blog and sign up to join the Ice Stampin' Club. Like I said, I'm looking to start that in January. So you will be in a group with five others and you are guaranteed to be a host once during that six month period. So if you have any questions over the I Stampin' Club, feel free to comment below. If you have any questions over how I made this card, please uh, comment below as well. If you liked the card, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, head on over to istampin.com and be sure to, su to subscribe there as well so that you can stay up to date on all of the fun projects that I create for you guys. All right, y'all have a fabulous Tuesday and I will see you later this week. Bye.